Good afternoon, friends. This is uh, Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about equation of a line. So I'll share my screen with you. Find the equation of a line in slope intercept form, which is passing through one zero and parallel to minus two X plus three Y equal to zero. So, Let's select the color of the ink. Okay, so first, solution. Let me erase that. So equation of the given line, let's start from the equation given. is equal to minus 2x plus 3y minus 7 equal to 0. So before you think about quitting, I'll pose you a question. How do I find the slope of this equation? Question for you. How to find how to find the slope of this slope of this line given line so my strategy will be to find the slope strategy to find the slope given slope and then use the property that parallel lines have slope, same slopes. Lines have same, parallel lines have same slopes. Okay, same slopes. So question for you, how do I find the slope of the equation, given equations of the straight line? So we all know a standard form of slope intercept form of the straight line, equation of a straight line is y equal to mx plus b, m is the slope, and b is the intercept. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at this line, minus 2x, minus 2x, plus 3y. Are you thinking of quitting? Don't quit, because I will show you how to solve this problem completely in steps. So you will learn everything you wanted to know. So I want to retain only y on the left-hand side of the equation to make it similar to y equal to mx plus b. If I only want to retain y term, then I have to get rid of the x term. So I add a plus 2x to the right-hand side and a plus 2x on the right-hand side and one plus 2x on the left-hand side. Similarly, I add a plus 7 on the left-hand side and a plus seven on the right hand side. In that case, as these two terms, they cancel out, okay? So I'm left with three y equal to two x plus seven. It's the same equation, only y is the term kept in the left hand side and x and the constant terms are on the right hand side. So. Now I need to find the slope of the equation. I have to convert it to the form y equal to mx plus b. So the coefficient of y right now is 3. I have to remove it. Coefficient means the number with which y is multiplied with. with. So 3 times y. In order to remove 3 from y, 
I have to do the opposite operation of multiplication, which is division. So I divide by three on, divide by three on each term of the equation on the left-hand side as well as the right-hand side. So this then reduces to the form y equal to two-third x plus seven by three. Okay, so now let's uh, compare it to the standard form. Y equal to MX plus B. Compare. Compare to Y equal to MX plus B. So what is the coefficient of X? So coefficient of x here, I'll write it over here only. So coefficient of x is equal to two third. Hence the slope. M of the given line is two third. So equal slope of the parallel line. So point to note. Let's change the ink color a little bit. So slope of the parallel line. Slope of the parallel line. Is also two third. Is also two over three. Don't quit right now. Don't leave me. I will show you how to solve this problem, how to get the equation of the line, which is parallel to the given line passing through a point. Uh, let's take a look at the point coordinates, the pair data point through which the line passes. It's one zero. It's one zero. So I need to. So what is my strategy now? OK, find. Next strategy is um, find the equation of the line. Equation of the line. Do not quit, okay? I'm showing you a hint or giving you a tip at the end of this presentation. So, Find the equation of the line with slope two third and passing through one zero through one zero. Okay, so how do we do this? So we utilize Utilize the standard equation of a line of a line passing through x1, y1. That's a given point on the line and slope. M. And so that equation is y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. So given to us, given from the given point, from the given point, a paired data point one zero x one is equal to one y one equal to zero and the slope given slope and the slope m is equal to two third. So we substitute these values in the equation and get y. Let me create some space. 
And I'll change the color of the ink also. Let's make it. So I have Y. I can write it over here. Y minus Y1 is 0 is equal to M is 2 third and X minus X1 is 1. So finally I can write Y equal to, I'll distribute the 2 third to X, 2 third X, 2 third times X is 2 third and 2 third times minus 1 is minus 2 third. So this is of the form y equal to mx plus b, okay? So m is two-third coefficient of x and b, the intercept is minus two-third. This is the slope intercept form. So this is the slope intercept form that we were looking for, slope intercept form. So, Slope is two third. This is my slope. Slope and this is my intercept on the y axis. So the bottom line, the answer is, I'll write it again here, create some space and write it one more time, is y equal to two-third x minus two-third. And I will circle. Maybe highlight this. Okay, so this is the answer for this problem. I hope you did not leave halfway through you stuck with me and you finally saw how I could solve this problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks uh, for sticking with me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, also please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I have solved all kinds of math problems just for you and I've explained them in slow and easy way and in steps, easy to follow steps. So please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to watch me ne next time when I'll be back with another problem, another solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.